presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Alan Homosasa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 211, NASDAQ off 150, S&P's down 45. Gold, gold contract flat, 1996 an ounce. We have silver down 25 cents, $23.61 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 83 cents, $72.88 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note up four ticks, trading 113.19. The 30-year up six ticks at 126.31 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 333 ticks, 103.535. The Euro is at 107. The yen is at 138. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. We're going to go to the future market first. So take a look at these futures. And we bring these babies up. So what we have out here is that this low is another high volume low. So we're going down to the lows, which is 41.53. Right now you're 41.59. But I also want to show you, like last night, when we were talking about the aspect of that high volume low from last night, overnight, and sure enough, it went after it. The bottom line is that, you know, market closed, hadn't gone after it yet. Not only went after it, it of course, it took it out. Uh, bottom line, now what you have here, now this is where it always gets cool, is that, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. Meaning, is it gonna, I suspect we're gonna go after it. We're so close to it right now. When you're so close to it, it's, uh, yeah, you're only seven points away from it. So that thing wants to be taken out. And you can see right now, we are on nine minutes. And it, you're at the, yeah, you're at the, you're at the three, let's say if we say the bar, is putting quarters. We're at the third quarter, closer to the bottom. So that's, and you get an expansion of volume. So that expansion of volume is coming in. So that's saying we're gonna go after this thing right now. Now, it's gonna be pretty hard to basically blow that away um, because you got 63,000 contracts there, you know, but you know, I, it's gonna go after it. That's, and your S&Ps. We go to the NQs, we take a look at the NQs. They're gonna be set up similarly, okay? You know, when they fire these babies off, yeah, there it is. So the NQ, same type of setup, you know, and the NQ's there, that's 20, that's 29,000, 29,000? The heck? Yeah, 29,000 contracts at the low. This last buy just had 13, uh, but you can see it is an expansion, you know, this, this, yeah, this is gonna go after that low, that's the bottom line. Now, notes and bonds. Notes and bonds, this is going to get really intriguing, folks. We, we get some divergence here. The note and bond market, they, this rejected lower price out here today. Let's put this up, and you're going to see how this shakes out, because this is like a classic almost. Okay, so what we have is this. Let me put this here first so I can figure out right where we're at. Okay, so we're going to go into that bar right there. So we're talking here. So watch this. 
Now, you have 2.5 million contracts in the 10 year, which is a lot of contracts, okay? But this is what you're doing. You're going into 3.3 million contracts and 4.3 million contracts, and you rejected lower price. So what that sets up is that that sets up a rejection of lower price just about at the 0.618. The 0.618 would have been um, 113, and we did 113.04. So that's telling me this note and bond market's gonna bounce again. If we go over to the dollar, now what we have with inside the dollar, the dollar's set up to go higher. I mean, this, this set up here, last couple days, you can see you go sideways four days, straight up, sideways four days, you know, the next move up in the dollar is the 105 to 106 area. And then what is a wild card here is this gold contract. Because what we had in the gold contract, so now this is the, we're dealing with the, let me just look at this for a second. Okay, so I'm dealing with the August contract now. So the contract just rolled again. Man, time is, time is, time is fast. <laughs> We got down to 17, 1974. You rejected it. 63,000 contracts. That's light contract volume. I know what I'll do. I'm gonna go to the GLD for a second. This is how you can check these things too, to see the correlation. Yeah, the GLD is doing the same thing, man. The, the, that's saying that, you know, the markets get nervous about this debt ceiling and you know, you probably might get a little pop here. I'd be, I'd be careful, but that's the bottom line. I'd still be careful beyond belief because what hasn't happened yet is that the XAU as well as the HUI, let's see where they went today. Okay, they went to the same place. Let's pull this up. When I, mean, when I say the same place, meaning that they're testing the lows of two days ago. Yeah, this test, this test is coming in. It's interesting. So, like on the XAU, I was looking for 125.14. Now, we've got down to 125.77. When you get that close, you know, you got to really start looking at this, okay? Now, we don't get the volume until tomorrow. I mean, tonight at 8.15, GDX, GDX, GDX. Let's see what happens with the equities here for a second. Yeah, it's light volume, man. They're not, they're not selling it, but it hasn't tested it either. See, with the GDX, you need that test, man. You know, because that's a high volume loan inside the GDX at 31.58. That's, that's how this thing shakes out, you know. And the bottom line is that, you know, you can expect the volatility to continue out here, folks, okay? That's, that's the bottom line. You know, right now you get the high volume low that's laying out there. That hasn't got tested yet. Yet you're still down 41 in the S&P. And... You know, we'll see how the rest of this shakes out. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here, and it's going to be a toss-up whether we have volume out here, meaning expanded volume. You get Tesla down two and a half dollars. We got uh, Pfizer up a buck. You get uh, Nvidia's down three seventy. You get uh, Google off uh, two fifty. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading down to 203. Nasdaq's off 152. S&Ps are off 45. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time, and an absolutely great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You'll see, you go into newsletters, you see the opening call right there. You get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 at 22%. You get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can get the six months, you can get the year, you get the month. If they work for you, that's awesome. You just continue it. If for some reason it doesn't work for you on the 29th day, folks, you just tell us, hey, listen, it didn't work for us. You get your money back. And on top of that, Basil has approximately 12 archives out there so that you can really see how Basil looks at the market each and every day and how he rides that wave. Basil Chapman, welcome back, man. How you doing? I'm doing well, Tom. How are you? Good. Do you have a good time? I really did. In fact, uh, this is, uh, we went to uh, visit a really good friend of my wife. We went to uh, uh, they went to medical school together way back, and she lives in London. And we went to visit them, and then we went down to the uh, south part of England, which we've never been to. It sounded like Boston because we were in uh, uh, Dorchester. Uh, where was it? It was Dorchester, Weymouth, and Portland. I mean, wow. all the areas around the Boston area. But it was so terrific and really beautiful. You drive in the countryside and the different colors of the farms, the, you know, the greens and the yellows, are just, it was really beautiful. And along the, almost all the uh, side roads, they have a little hedge that grows along the, the sidewalk on both sides. Okay. So it's, like, so it's like this little mini protection part that you just keep going and it's really very beautiful and it was lovely there. We're on the Jurassic Coast where uh, that's some of the uh, the dinosaurs, etc. were. It was very, very interesting and very different to vacations we've taken before. And of course, I was looking at the market. I managed to do one of the shows live. Oh, no, I um, know. I know. You're a trooper, man. No doubt. Your <laughs> wife, it must have been awesome seeing someone you went to school with. Because it's just like that, right? It's just like old times when you see someone you haven't seen for 30 years, which is amazing. Uh, 
Right, and this is well. This is uh, they were at medical school together, and they used to study together. And uh, cool. so uh, you know they've gone different different directions. Uh, and uh, her friend landed up in London, been there for a very long time. We landed up here, but it was very nice and very good to hear them together talking. And it was it was a lot of fun. Nice. Well, welcome yeah. back, man. Thank let's, you. Very let's much. ride this wave. Where are we going? So, this is interesting. You know, there's a pattern I talk about. It, it's this lowercase h. I call it the dreaded h. Because if you come straight down, I'll show this chart right here. If you come straight down and then you make this arch formation and fail at the first or second peak, peak A or a peak B, and then you come back to the low, but you, t you don't break the left side low, it means you can have a good rally, but you could go from the H pattern to a lowercase m pattern. That's the one that better not break that left side low because that could be quite serious. So here we are, 32,937 in the Dow was that that very sharp four-day slide from the 1st of May at 34,257. Then it bounced and it failed and it came back, but it didn't take out that 32,937 low. That was about six, seven sessions ago and then ran it again. And now we're pulling back and we're going to see where this goes. It's on the 200 period moving average. That's not the point. The point that I wanted to make was that from the low that was made in October, and we're very lucky, we went long the, the, right at the low. Uh, so we're still holding those posi the long positions. But what my contention has been is that if we are able, and this is why I always like very much to be able to time highs and lows, because if you get, get that, when the market eventually has this digestive phase, you out of that, you, you, you've already got a good cushion. So, you know, talking about here, 28,660, my contention has been that on every big bad news event over the period of months to come, that's what I was, I was projecting out, the, if we were able to get in low enough, every time there's a pullback, if it comes from this higher level up around about the 34,000 level, it means that You've got a good cushion. And here we are once again. You've got this debt crisis coming up. or well, we don't know yet if it's going to be a crisis. But there's a cushion. So that, to me, is a good sign. But on the very short term, I'm a little cautious. But now look at this. So, you know, in my work, I always like to look for uh, peak Ds. If I get a buy signal, which is upgraded to a buy mode, it should give you at least four higher peaks. Well, all of a sudden, we got to this peak C uh, two sessions ago. And today we're pulling back. This is in the in the S and P. So I'm not sure. I don't quite understand this because the technicals are still pretty strong. Big. It's a quite a bit bit of a pullback today. I don't know how we can squeak to the 4212 area to be able to make that leg D. But I'm watching it very closely because if you look at the this is the S and P. So the Dow is ready for a pullback, it's already in this digestive phase. S&P made a new recovery high just the other day. In fact, it's almost a yearly high uh, for, for, for the last past 12 months. Now look at the QQQ. I'm always looking for D. Well, it made that D at 33, uh, 338.67. Technicals are still good, but it's a pretty sharp pullback. And But the flat stochastic at 93 says, it's either going to be a vicious decline using tremendous power and speed downside or else we're just going to be choppy choppy for the next uh, three four five sessions going into the end of the uh, end of the month so i'm watching this very closely because everything's set up to be cautious we've been become quite cautious I and mean, there's a stock i spoke to you about oh quite a few weeks ago it's called symbiotic inc end-to-end -end, uh, artificial intelligence robotic warehouse automation systems we're in um, we're we're in the twenty uh, the twenty ones. It's here. It is at a uh, thirty one. It's done very nicely. We're taking a little bit nice. And it's also look at this kind of a double top here. It has gone to this. It's almost the same as the spy in leg, maybe C E. But I'm I'm saying let's be a little bit cautious. There's another one that we had, which is bots. This is the this is very interesting. This is the Global X Robotics and AI ETF. We've had it for, um, for some time. It's now 26, 29. Took a little bit of profit, and here it is at the peak F. So everything says to me that we're in an area that makes it, the market somewhat vulnerable. But if you look at weekly charts, the weekly charts have done very well and are still holding very well. And that includes the. Let me go back to the QQQ because this is going to be really fascinating. 
Look, the technicals here on the QQ weekly chart, this is the MACD. Look at the distance between the two moving averages. That is very powerful. Look at the stochastic flat at 95%, 96%. That's really good. Um, and the nine period moving average is way over the 14 and the price is way over. So I, I'm looking at this and I'm saying we're ready for some kind of a digestive moment. But I, not that the charts are not saying yet that there could be a smash to the downside. It's saying be a little bit careful here and be very selective. We are still looking at some stocks, individual stocks that are doing well. So I think this is a period where um, raising some cash, is, there's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, I'm just saying, let the market tell me we've got a, we're a little cautious right now. But the, the weekly has, has improved in, in the three major indexes. And the monthly chart is starting. Oh, look at this. Just as we're going to the break, look at the monthly chart. Finally broke out of that resistance in leg C. It isn't very strong, but at least it's broken out. So there are good signs, but I think we're ready for some digestive phase. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You see Basil's opening call right on the right hand side. Hit it, and you are off to the races. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, Tom. You too. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. FNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrial's down 177. You get the NASDAQ off 142. SPs are off 40. And uh, the fireworks are going to begin Wednesday night, folks. Uh, Wednesday night, this is. Uh, so you get Ron DeSantis is going to announce the, his 2024 presidential campaign. 
with Elon Musk uh, Wednesday evening at 6 p.m. DeSantis uh, will speak with Musk at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, and the campaign will release a video formally launching the campaign. Uh, bottom line is that this is, <laughs> is going to be quite a deal, man. Um, we'll see where it all shakes out because, you know, we, we know uh, Trump is going to be coming right after him. And right now, uh, we're talking the primary, but uh, it's going to be pretty hard to beat Trump on a primary. I mean, that's my take on it anyway. And he'll really start on DeSantis. And I, I, it, hey, we'll see where it shakes out. But I think DeSantis is uh, thin-skinned myself, but we'll see where this shakes out. We're going to find out, man, real quick, because it, it takes something else uh, in order to basically get through any campaign, never mind a presidential campaign. So, And we'll see where Musk is going to be using Twitter to basically, you know, pump him up. So, uh, Wednesday, 6 o'clock, here we come. Inside the NDX 100, let's go take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. Let's, uh... So, inside the NDX, what we have is this. You get Moderna is up, uh, the putting, that's up 9 0.3%, CGEN's up 1.7, Broadcom's up 1.3, and Walgreens Boots is up 1.1. Taken away from it, Zoom's down 8%, Align Technologies off 5.5, IDEX Pharmaceuticals off 5.5, and, and Intuitive Surgical is off 3.5. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrial. Point wise out here. Okay, so we have. Um, Home Depot putting uh, 33 positive points, Chevron, Chevron 28, IBM 6, taken away. Visa, minus 44, Microsoft, minus 33, Salesforce, minus 22. Let's go over to Microsoft for a second. I want to take a look at a couple of these high flyers because they've been holding the market up. Okay, well, this is not actually volume off the highs, but you're getting, you're getting a little, it depends what, what we get. Coming into the close, so we only get 21 million shares. It would need a lot. It would need a little 35 million shares. Someone to really dump something coming into the high. Um, now, Nvidia. Let's go take a look at some stocks of some of the tigers out here. Nvidia is going to be coming out. Is today the 24th? Let me see this thing. Where am I? Shame on me. No, tomorrow. So, Nvidia is coming out with the numbers tomorrow. Now, NVIDIA is going to be looking, the lows 108 for the year, the highs 318. They're going to be looking to do 6.5 billion to the top line and 91 cents to the bottom line. Look at that bottom line, man. Whew. Whatever they're doing right now, folks, this is interesting. Look at these numbers if you're watching Tiger TV. The, the bottom line here is extraordinary compared to the top line. So there, whatever this chipset that they're selling now is evidently a lot more profitable than it has been in the past. 108's the low, 318's the high. We take a look at this. Okay, so I gotta get this on a weekly. Yeah, this is... Okay, so it's an ABC up. Now the question is, how big is it? I think it's already reached it, actually. I take this one, I could take that one, I take this one here first. 92, that's 30 bucks. And that gets you to 210. 310, you already reached 312. That's one of them. Then the 280, that's 58. And we do 58. Okay, you want to see something wild? 58, one second. Fifty-eight, about fifty, forty-two, right? Zero, yeah. Okay, so this is saying that you know the, that in both cases, your ABC structure is finished on the way up. We put this on a monthly. When you have, you know, you have two separate ABC structures finishing. That's telling me that you know what you're going to do something other than go up. Yeah, and on the monthly, see this on the monthly. The, the swing point on the monthly is 1.1 billion, and we've only done 670 million. And the 670 million is going into 1 billion. Yeah. So that's telling me that NVIDIA, um, you know, is not going to hold price. And right now you're at 308. We go to uh, Freeport-McMoran, FCX. We take a look at F F 
Freeport Mac Moran. The low is $24, the high is 46. They're coming out, next time they come out with numbers is on the 21st of July. Yeah. This is a little problem, child. So this here, you broke the consolidation. What number is that? You're at 3470. 3360. I hit 34 today. I wouldn't be biting on this yet. This like trading a consolidation. And you know, it it came into its downdraft from last March. Couldn't handle it. Volume was lighter. It did take out a high volume swing with lighter volume, but it has another one laying down there at 2480. This could get out at 2480, which would be pretty intense, which would be an indication, okay, that the dollar is going to keep moving higher. If that's what happens, that's, that's how that's set up. Um, VFC. So this one here. All right, okay, this is a, the low is $18, the high is 51 They come out with numbers that, oh, is this today? Yes, yeah, today. They must lose money because this chart's a mess. Okay, so they claimed this is an active outwear clothing line. They're looking to do $2.7 billion, and that $2.7 billion, by the way, is a contraction of $800 million in 90 days. And they're looking to do 14 cents. This has been a one-way trip downtown. And it's just going to keep going downtown. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing in this thing, man. I mean, this, this stock wants to go down to 8 bucks. Yeah. It started, this started at 100 bucks. goes down to... 48, there's a counter trend bounce up to 89. Yeah, there's there's nothing here, period. That's that, that, yeah. Retail's hard right, right now, especially clothing retail. I think we all have too many clothes anyway. I don't know if buy, people are buying clothes anymore. They probably are, but you get the gist of it. Um, huge difference, no doubt about that. Dow, Dow Industrials right now trading down uh, 161, the Nasdaq's off uh, 139. S&Ps are off uh, 39. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 165. You get the NASDAQ off 138. S&Ps are off 39. And so you had the Surgeon General come out today, folks. Um, you know, bottom line saying that, you know, social media for, you know, you know, well, they're not children when they're 19 years old. But from 10 to 19 years old, uh, he came out with a warning, okay? Warn Tuesday, a potential risk of social media to young people and urge policymakers and technology companies to strengthen standards for adolescents. Um, the advisory noted the benefits of social media, including its use as an outlet for creativity and finding community. But the report says there are ample indicators that social media can have a profound risk of harm to the mental health and well-being of children and adolescents. Um, children and teens, particularly vulnerable from ages 10 to 19, as their brains continue to develop, the advisory cites a 2022 20, Pew Research Center that found 95% of teens use of social media and more than a third use at least one almost constantly. The advisory pointed to several Studies examining a range of adverse effects of social media and adolescents. These include online harassment, increased exposure to content related to self-harm and racism, negative impacts of sleep, body image, physical activity. The thing is wild, man. I mean, you, you can picture that I, there's no doubt I always thought the aspects of, you know, the addiction of social media, folks, is huge, right? So I can't imagine when you're a child because what ends up happening is that everything you're into, you're into so dramatically. Like picture, you know, we were lucky enough to grow up playing football, baseball, hockey, boxing, handball, right? And during those times, that's all you would think about, right? I mean, that's, I went from one bag to another bag to another bag, and that's all you think about. And, you know, yeah, you, as you'd be playing those, your thought process, at least my thought process was like, okay, who's on the other side? Who's tough? Who's not tough? You know, where's this going to go? Now, in the social media space, you know, the bottom line is that they're on the phone and you get, it's, it's, it's not good. It's, it's, for society, it's absolutely not good. It's going to be kind of a lost generation, I think, you know. Now, yeah, I mean, that's, that's my take on it. And we'll see if it's even more than one lost generation. That, that's the reality because... You know, all you have to do, which we all can see, when you're walking down the street and, you know, everyone's walking like this. Now, that being said, this is happening all over the world. Because I remember, you know, I was in China, what, three years ago. And it was the exact same thing, man. I mean, you know, this is not different. It's not like, you know, the U.S. is different than someone else. Everyone's like this. It's not good. I, I you know, I, anyway... Uh, we'll see. I don't see how they're, they're going to put in any timeouts. Let's put it that way. Um, 
into them that they can actually start thinking of doing something else. Because, so picture what happens, that the, when you get into, now, now let's talk about adults for a second. Because when you actually get into trading, that's just as addicting. That, that's the bottom line is that, you know, when you're in front of these screens, especially the first, you know, three or four years, you almost don't do anything else. And that's just as bad. Because the reality is that, you know, you're, you're trying to scratch out a living in front of the screen and then everything else, what are you gonna do with everything else? So it's, you know, the work play deal is, you know, really important and the addiction value uh, is pretty heavy, you know? So there are all these different addictions that are out here and in particular, I think for adults, <laughs> particularly if you get into trading, well, you better, you know, get some kind of a system down. Because if you don't, you're going to be hooked on these machines in general. And then the, the key is, of course, you know, if you do good, that's, that's fine. But if you blow your brains out, then it's a whole different ball game. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of different addictions that are out there. But I'd, I'd say the social media addiction is the worst f by far right now. We gotta take a look at the, the volumes out here. What do we have with inside the volumes? And one of the reasons that, that it is the worst is that anyone, uh, these are all these big dudes that corral, I call them corralling people. You can corral them very easily. You know, you send something out, you send this out, you crawl them up, just like you're corralling a bunch of cows, horses, whatever you're corralling, and then you give it to them. Do you know what I mean? So it's not cool. Inside the NYSC, we're doing 537 versus 838. So that's gonna come in. That's gonna come in light, unless you get a big blowout at the uh, end. Inside the composite, we are dealing with uh, now the composite's not gonna come in light. That's 3.7 versus 4.3. So let's go look at this composite for a second. Okay, so let me see what we did three days ago. Yeah. So we're going into, it's going to do about the same. We're going into 4.5. Right now it's 3.7. We go take a look at the Apple because Apple, bottom line, has been running the market as Microsoft, NVIDIA. I mean, it hasn't just been one. You get three or four of them have been running the market. I mean, Apple, the, the expansion of volume is still not there, you know. We, 36 million shares, you're coming into 67 million. What you'd have to get, you'd have to get a good expansion of volume here. If you're looking at the screen, these are all block trades. These are big trades. There's no doubt about that. These are big trades that are happening. 25,000 at a pop, 18,000 at a pop. Picture 18,000 times that, you know, 171. We go into Google. So all of these equities just about on the monthlies too are not working, meaning that they've been, they've been going up, but it's been dramatically lighter on the monthlies. Like Google even, well, Google's not that bad actually. Google's coming into uh, 568 million and you're done 463. So that'll do about the same. That'll do about the same. We'll see whether they can get inside the next range. The next range in Google starts at right where we are right now, the 124 area. That's how this is set up. We go to the oil contract. Let's go take a look at, well, first, OIH. Let's go to the OIH. We were talking to Frank yesterday about the OIH. The OIH is going to have some heavy resistance at this uh, 270 mark. Because the 270 mark is way back. I put this on, yeah, I put it on a six months, about five months ago. It had come down with some big volume. And see this today? Now you're going up and you're contracting in volume in a monster way. You've got to be careful on this one because the contraction is huge. You're coming into a million shares, and right now you've only done 288,000. If we go to the XLE, we take a look at the XLE. So the low for the XLE is 80. No, it's 65. The high is 94. We take a look at this. And, you know, this is going after the lows, man.
Yeah. Gotta get that high volume low once we get tested again at 75. Stay so right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrials right now trading down now 188. NASDAQ is up 136. SP's up 42. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. And when I, you know, I was talking about that uh, announcement with uh, DeSantis and uh, Musk. Well, Musk, you know, it was a couple of questions. Could Musk run as a vice president? He can't. You have to be natural bond for vice president and president. Let's go to Mike in uh, Toronto. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Yeah, hi, hi. Thanks for taking my call. I want to look at the fertilizer stocks, in particular, Nutrient, ticker symbol NTR. Okay, so the low's 58, the high's 108. Don't buy it. This Why thing's you look going on the lower. Um, look on the is, monthly. It's, it's a little bit concerning. Yeah, it's been a one-way route, route down, which is not good also for the market you know for the in general do you know what i mean if, if you, you broke. yeah uh look at it in, in this past month the low was 58.75 yeah and then the high the previous high at that at that level was back in october of 2018. yeah this can go this, can, this this is this can go to 42 bucks man this is not this is saying that whatever is happening in the you know farming businesses they're not going to be able to price up uh you know the the nutrients, yeah. See, it's, the next the next leg is 
right over there, Mike, which is the high is 42. We're at 60 right now. So you broke, and you broke with some volume, man. And that, so yeah, that's that, what I'm concerned about. So, I mean, you're thinking the next stop, 42. Yes. And if it breaks 42, then what? Well, it would be the bottom. That, that's the top of that high-volume bar. That's how that works. You can see it's a, it's a high-volume bar in a monthly, but most times, you know, when you come down this dramatically, most times it's going to get some support because there's been so much selling. I mean, this is a stock that was $117. The bottom of that is 23. But most times, the way it's come down, you can see expanded volume this month. You know, if it makes it down there, you'll see the volume expand and probably contract when it gets closer to that $60 area. That's how it normally sets up. Have a great okay, one, man. Have you. a safe one. Always remember, folks, the bank and claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. <laughs>